Hi, today I will talk about Mac versus PC and that from a .NET MAUI perspective. If you like my videos, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support the channel a bit extra, you can use the super thanks button below here and you can also buy the t-shirt Let's Go to Maui that you can see on my avatar. So Mac or PC is a discussion that we will have I think forever as or as long as we have those platform as the dominate. Of course we have Linux as well but when we're talking about .NET Maui we have PC and Mac and I think that is what most people are using. And of course there will be people with strong opinions about what to use. I use in both PC and I'm using Mac. And I've used both professional and I have used both on my hobby project. So in this video I will give you my opinions what I think is the best option for a uh, .NET and .NET MAUI developer. When we're talking about .NET MAUI we're talking about development for iOS, Android, Windows and also Mac OS that are the supported platform. And the requirement are if you want to do iOS development you need to have a connected Mac for running simulators and creating certificates for, for distribution and so on. So you need a Mac for that. But you can also use what they call hot restart and deploy and debug your app on an iPhone. But that requires that you have an iPhone and a developer account for Apple. There are some limitations there, but you can use it. For Windows development, if you want to build Windows apps, you need to have a Windows machine. Not necessarily a PC, but you need a machine with Windows. And I will talk about more about the options there later in this video. And for Android, you can use both Mac and you can use Windows. So if you only target Android, you can use whatever you want and whatever you feel most comfortable with. So if you are on Windows and want to do iOS development, you can connect a Mac via the network or you can have one in the cloud. But my experience here is that it works, it works, but I don't think it's a great experience. So if we take a look here on Visual Studio, what you do is that you go to pair to Mac dialog and you pair to, say this is my M1 Mac, we connect to it and it will make sure that you have everything you need installed. The every, only thing you need to have installed on your Mac is mono and everything else will set up for you when you pair it to the Mac. Some problem here, if you are on an enterprise network, you maybe not are allowed to have Macs on the same network. There maybe are firewall rules that makes it harder to connect to the Mac, so that can be a problem. Yeah, and what you also need to have on the Mac is of course Xcode for iOS development for the simulators and so on. So now I have connected my Mac. The problem here is I think that the connection are pretty slow. It takes longer time to deploy, it's, like it's slow to debug. You can remote the simulators to Windows, but I don't think that works very well in all scenarios and the performance will of course be affected on your local network also but uh, if you have the Mac on the same desk you can of course use the simulator on the Mac you don't need to have the remote connection just have the remote connection for the debugger but you don't need to have the remote um, UI window so you can use the simulator in Windows but I guess that is to prefer because it's easier to have uh, to be in the same environment all the time. You don't need to have two computers. Yeah, you just need to start the Mac and connect to it and you can start debugging. So if you are a .NET developer, I guess you are familiar with Visual Studio and you want to continue in that environment. And of course you can also use Visual Studio Code on the Mac or JetBrains Rider if you prefer that. Now we can see that the simulator is starting up here on Windows, so I get the iOS simulator inside of my Windows machine. Actually starting this takes so long time right now that I don't want to wait. 
but often when it has started and has connected it will be a bit faster but I think it's still too slow to work with. When I'm working mainly on my Windows machine for app development I always switch to my Mac when I need to do something on iOS because I don't want to work with the remote agent. So if we want to run this on Windows instead we just go and select the Windows machine and we will start. And the debugging and running apps on Windows is probably the fastest way to debug things. It will start pretty fast and the debugging works great. So here we have my Windows demo app that I use for my shell session during conference talks. And as you can see here, we also have the diagnostic tools that we are used to as .NET developers. So if we talk about a Mac, uh, and Mac is something that we need if we want to develop Mac apps. There are no option to develop Mac apps on Windows. We can don't use the remote agent, there are no hot restart. We need to be on the Mac. And there we will use Visual Studio Code if we don't want to use a third party ID like JetBrains Rider that works great. Many people love Rider. I use it from time to time, but I try to use Visual Studio Code as much as possible right now. I mostly use Visual Studio Code right now when I am on the Mac because I want to get used to that and see how the experience is. And I can say, I still miss Visual Studio for Mac. There are things that worked bad there, but we should do the code getting better and better. You have great Copilot integration. I think that is better than on. Uh, we should do it on Windows. You have good code editing. Uh, if you're used to Visual Studio on Windows, of course there are some things that are not working the same. But for every day I use it, I get more and more used to it, and things will get smoother for me. So I think that's a good idea, and things works very well. When you are on the Mac, you have the iOS simulators on the same machine. You have Xcode that is easy to access. Everything works much more smoothly, I think. The debug experience is great. There's no delay. And yeah, as you have with the Mac agent. So I prefer using my Mac for iOS development. And Android development works great on both the Mac and on the PC. So if we want to develop apps for all the target platform on .NET Android, iOS, Windows and Mac, then we need a Mac. But how to test on Windows? Do we still ha need to have a PC? No, we don't need that. We can use a virtual Windows on the Mac. I guess you can do that on PC2, run Windows and then have a virtual Mac, but that is not allowed by the license terms from Apple and I think it will be a bit hacky and I never tried that. But running Windows in a virtual machine on Mac works pretty well. Actually it works really well in some cases, depending a little bit on your solution and what machine you have. If you, as me, has M1, M2, M3, whatever Mac with Apple Silicon, it works really good. I have tested both Parallels and I have tested VMware Fusion. And the great thing with VMware Fusion is that it's free for personal use. So if you develop apps for your own or your very small company, you can use that for free. But my experience now, after I have tested both, is that Parallels works better. It's smoother, the performance is better. Yeah, everything works well. And this is if you have an ARM-based Windows, of course, because Visual Studio also supports ARM right now. So you can run Visual Studio ARM on ARM Windows. And Macs with Apple Silicon are also ARM-based. And I think that works very well. And I don't think that the Parallels license is very expensive. It's about $100 a year or so. It's not that much. 
And I also think that building iOS apps works better on Windows when you are on a Mac. Even if you have to connect the simulators over the network, the network will be inside the same machine. Your traffic don't have to leave the machine. You have internal network between the virtual machine and the actual Mac. And that makes things faster. And my experience is also that that works better with Parallels compared to VMware. So my conclusion here is that for an app developer, a Mac is the best option. If you need to target Windows as a development platform, you need a Windows machine in some sort, a physical one or a virtual one. And I think it works well with a virtual machine. And for Android development, it, do it doesn't matter if you are on a Windows or on a Mac. Both works great. So the only reason to not buy a Mac is if your company have some regulation that you cannot use Macs inside of the company. But if that is the case, I think you should go to your manager and explain why you need a Mac and tell them that you will be much, much more productive with a Mac. And I also worked with my Mac with clients when I was a consultant, where I could have a virtual Windows machine connected to their domain. So I just started up Parallels and uh, installed their image that they have on the network. And then I can use Windows with all the domain access in a virtual machine. So if there was something that I needed to access that I only can do from a domain machine, I can do that for the virtual machine. But that depends on the company IT policies. But that's something that you can discuss with your IT department. So for app developer, Mac is the best option if you want to target iOS or Mac. If you only target Android and Windows, you can go with Windows, but as I said. But in general, the Mac will be the best option according to me. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.